Beauty students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over section 1-3b on our work on place values, decimals, and fractions. We're going to be looking at how to convert decimals to fractions and fractions to decimals. The types of problem we're going to be considering in this presentation are depicted here. We have two examples. And don't forget, we have four practice problems at the end of this tutorial for you to tryouts to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this presentation all right let's take a look at um, question one and two our instructions are for us to convert each decimal um, into a fraction all right so question number one let's say we have the decimal 0 0.004 okay so the task here is to uh, convert this decimal into a fraction okay so let's say we have 0 0.004 so the goal here is to basically get rid of this decimal point Okay, so we can just erase it and say we're done. There are certain mathematical processes or procedures that we have to follow in order to complete this task, okay? Now, we're going to get started by dividing this number by 1, okay? So 1 is in the 1's place, so we'll put it to the left of the decimal, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 3 digits here, so we'll put 1.000. So something that you want to keep in mind, just a side point, is that any number divided by 1 is just that number, okay? You take any number and divide it by 1, you end up with the exact number that you started with. For example, if you take 3 divided by 1, it's just going to be 3. It's called, uh, this is an identity, 1 is the identity under division, all right? So if I take 0 0.004 and I divide it by 1.004, I haven't changed the problem. It's still exactly the same as what it was before, okay? So divided by 1. Now what we're going to do is we're going to migrate the decimal point into a position where it's behind the last non-zero non digit of the numerator, okay? So how many places do you see us moving the decimal point to accomplish that? In the numerator we're gonna move it one two three we're gonna move it to three places to the right that'll take a, take it behind four right there all right so whatever you do to the top you have to do exactly the same thing to the bottom in order to preserve the um, equality of the problem you can't change the problem so when you move the decimal point in the numerator and the denominator identical number of times um, you still preserve the size of the number all right so since we move the numerator three places to the right we're going to move the numerator decimal three places to the right also one two three bam so the decimal points are still at exactly the same position after the move all right so when you carry out that um, procedure, we're going to have four point. The decimal point is now behind the four. You just make it 4.0 divided by. Now on the bottom, when you move the decimal point three times, three places to the right, 1.000 becomes 1,000. Bam, point zero. So the, 1, 000, the decimal point has now gone all the way to the right. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and write down the final answer. When you have 4.0, there's no need to write anything after the, you don't need to write the point or the zero. So it just, it just becomes 4, and then this 1,000.0 just becomes 1,000. Bam. And ladies and gentlemen, there goes your final answer. So 0 0.004 is 4 thousandths. Okay. You can also use a place value to, to do this calculation, which works sometimes, but not every time. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the mathematical procedure that governs what we just did. When you're moving the decimal points to the right, what you're actually doing is multiplying by 
multipliers of 10. So since we move the three places to the right, is equivalent to multiplying the numerator and the denominator by 1,000. So that's what we did. So when you multiply the numerator and the denominator by exactly the same thing, what you're doing is multiplying by 1. All right? And another thing to note is that when you multiply any number by 1, just like division, you also end up with that number that you started with it doesn't change it okay so you multiply a number by one you end up with that number so for example three times one is just three so one is also the identity under multiplication okay let's take a look at another example um, problem number two let's say we have the decimal um for number two we have 0 0.0745 all right let's do this so the task is to convert this decimal into a fraction i'm going to follow exactly the same procedure we have 0 0.0745 and then we're dividing it by one so we're going to place the one in the ones place okay which is the first place to the left of the decimal point. Point. Now, since we have one, two, three, four, four digits um, to the right of the decimal point, we're going to put in four zeros. Now, the question is, is this number, this fraction that we have here, is it any different from the original? The answer is no. Remember, we talked about it earlier that when you divide a number by one, you end up with that number. Or even if you multiply a number by one, you end up with that number that you started with, right? So this is the same as what we started with. It's no different. We're just dividing it by one. Now, we're going to move the decimal point, an equivalent number of places in the numerator and the denominator to ensure that the decimal point ends up to the right of the last non-zero digit, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. In the numerator, you're going to move it one, two, three, four, Four places to the right. Okay, and then in the denominator, one, two, three, four places to the right. So you have a decimal point here and a decimal point there also. Okay, so what does that become? Now we're going to have um, 0, 7, 4, 5 point, and you can put a zero after that, over. One is going to have one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four point zero. Now let's go ahead and write down what our final answer is going to be. So our final answer is just going to be 745. You don't have to put the zero there. And then divided by in the denominator, it's going to be 10,000. And you don't, you don't need that decimal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the final answer uh, to question number two. All right, so let's talk about the mathematics real quick. What did we do by moving the decimal point four places to the right in the numerator and the denominator? What we did mathematically is we are multiplying the numerator and the denominator by 10,000. Four zeros, four decimal places to the right, and the numerator and the denominator we multiply by the same thing, you're multiplying by 1, which does not change the number. Okay? All right, let's move on. All right, so now we're going to do the reverse. Okay? We're now going to convert uh, fractions to decimals. We're going to be doing the reverse of what we did in questions 1 and 2. Let's start with number 3. So question 3, what if, what if we had the fraction 47 divided by 100? Bam, like that. Let's go ahead and do it. So our solution is as follows. So we have 47 divided by 100. So what you're going to do first is place, put in your decimal points, okay? So 47, the decimal point is right here behind the ones place. And then for 100, the decimal point is right here. So remember for decimals to fractions that we did earlier, the decimal points were going to the right. Guess what's going to happen here? 
they are going to be going to the left, all right? So in this particular case, the goal here is to take advantage of the fact that one is the identity under division. And we wanna make, the goal here is to make the denominator one, all right? You wanna make the denominator equal to one, all right? Guess why? When the denominator is equal to one, we can just drop it off and we're gonna be left with the numerator and it will be the appropriate decimal. So the question is, how can we make this denominator equal to one? You just have to move the decimal points an appropriate number of places to the left. Since you have two zeros, you're gonna move the decimal point one, two, two places to the left right here, okay? So in order to preserve equality, whatever you do to the denominator, you have to do the same to the numerator. So you move the decimal point two places to the left. Right here, bam. And then you're going to now have 0 0.47 divided by 1.00. Oh, voila. So let, let's, let's make this look pretty. So 0 0.47 is just still 0 0.47. 1 1.00, since these are zero digits, you don't have to write them. It's just 0 0.47 over 1. When you divide a number by one, you just end up with that number. So our final answer is 0 0.47. So this is the decimal form of the original problem. Okay. So let's talk about the math real quick. How you show that you are moving or what causes the decimal point to move to the left. When you're going to the right, we're moving the decimal point to the right and multiplying by it. Multi uh, powers of 10. When you go into the left, you're multiplying by fractions of 10, okay? Two places to the right involve multiplying by one over 100. When you multiply by 100, you go, it moves the decimal point two places to the left. When you multiply by 100th, you move in two places to the left, okay? The other, the other way it goes to the right, now this goes to the left. All right, and then whatever you do to the bottom, that's exactly what you do to the denominator. So moving the decimal point two places to the left, what we we're actually doing was multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by one over 100. And since they're the same, it's the same as multiplying by one. And when you multiply a number by one, the number remains unchanged. All right, let's take a look at another example and then I will give you some practice problems to try out. So let's say we have 57 divided by 10,000. How do we convert this to decimal form? We're gonna follow exactly the same process that we used in number three. So Remember, the goal is to make the denominator one so that it drops off and we are left with the numerator component, okay? So goal is to make the denominator equal to one. All right, so we have 57 divided by 10,000. So how do we make the denominator one? Uh, so let's start off by identifying where our decimal points are because that's what we're going to be moving. So to make the denominator one, how many places do you think we have to move the decimal point? And in what direction? Since it's 10,000, we're gonna have to move it to the left. How many places? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Bam, right there, it takes us, so that makes the denominator one. So the number of moves we made in the denominator four to the left, we'll do, carry out exactly the same number of moves in the numerator also, okay? So we're gonna have one, two, oh, oh, three, four. Bam, so we have empty spaces here. What, what do we put here? What are we going to put here? We're gonna put in our placeholder zeros. We're gonna put in zeros, okay? All right, so this becomes um, 
zero point two zeros zero zero five seven divided by in the, the no, it's gonna be one point zero 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 so let's write that down so that's gonna be one point zero 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 like that all right so remember well, let's make it look pretty again so it's obvious what's going on here so we have 0 0.0057 divided by 1 so remember anytime you divide a number by 1 you just end up with that number so our answer here is going to be 0 0.0057 all right there goes the answer to question number four let's talk about the math real quick and give you some practice problems uh, so what do we do mathematically here moving the decimal point four places to the left what we did here is we multiply the numerator and the denominator by one over ten thousand so we multiply a number by one over ten thousand that moves the decimal point of that number four places to the left the number of zeros can let you know the effect that the um, the effect that the decimal point the move will have on the decimal point okay all right uh, so denominator numerator by one over ten thousand the denominator by exactly the same thing because ladies and gentlemen we have to move the decimal point an equivalent number of times in the numerator and the denominator to ensure that we preserve equality we don't get to change the problem it has to be exactly the same value even though it looks different but it has to be exactly the same value all right so that goes the answer to question number four now it's your turn to do some practice problems all right so uh we have four practice problems for you to try out so for question one and two you're to convert the decimals into fractions and then in question three and four the fractions into decimal forms so go ahead and pause the video presentation at this time and try the problems. When you're done, click on the playback button and we're going to reveal what the correct answers are. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to try out the practice problems. So here are the answers. Go ahead and check your work. When you're done checking your work, we'd like to know how well did you do? Did you get all the four problems correct? If there are any questions that you have about any of these problems that we did or maybe the example problems go ahead and specify it in the comment section below or just ask your teacher we'll be more than glad to support you thanks so much for taking the time to watch this channel do not help forget to help support our channel by liking sharing and subscribing to our channel as indicated earlier, if you have any questions, just post it in the comment section below. Tons of support resources are available at mathgoodserve.com to check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.